In this video, we're gonna learn how to transform your shots using a combination of AI and visual effects techniques in DaVinci Resolve. These are some really useful and practical tips to get your videos looking exactly the way that you want. So here I have a wide shot of this house, and this is supposed to be the establisher for our movie. And I really like this house, but one thing that is super obvious is this is a still. All right, I'm actually playing this back. Not that you can tell. You can see this little uh, playhead moving back and forth right there, but obviously nothing's going on because this is just a still image. Now, there are some ways to make this still look more like video footage in Resolve. One of the things that we could do would be go to our effects panel here and let's search for camera shake. This is an open effect that comes with the paid version of Resolve. And I can grab this and drag this down onto our house and we have a little bit of a camera shake. That's a little bit hardcore. Let's take the speed and the motion down a lot. And now we have this subtle movement of our camera. That's kind of a little bit of a shaky cam. Maybe we'll add some zooming, a little bit of rotation, maybe a little more scale. And now we have a little bit of movement here on our shot. Now, this will make it feel a little bit more alive, but if you don't want your camera to be shaky, then this technique doesn't really work. The other thing we could do would be to go to our video tab. I'll just go ahead and remove this by clicking this little garbage can here and go to our video tab. The other thing that we could do would just be to turn on dynamic zoom. So I could turn that on like this, and this will give us kind of a little zoom out, which also helps but it also sort of still feels like a still. Something that we could do to make this a little better would be to put some film grain over this, and that'll make this feel just kind of almost subconsciously a little bit more like video. So again, we could find something like a grain here, and maybe we'll just put this on like an adjustment clip here. We'll add some film grain like this. And now it's kind of hard to tell, but there is some kind of dancing grain on that, which will make this look a little bit more like an actual video that you've taken. And zoom in here. See, there's the dancing grain. If we say grain only, if we turn this off, we can see just there's a little bit of grain there. So that'll help this a little bit. The other thing you could possibly do would be to do something like squish these trees around with some masks and kind of move them a little bit. That's really tricky to get right. You may or may not actually be able to do that. And it's a lot of work for one shot. So in the case of this kind of thing lately, where I have a perfect still for an establisher shot or something like this, but I don't have any video, I've been using AI tools to turn this image into video. And the way that you can do this is actually really easy. If we go to artlist.com, who by the way is a sponsor for this video, we don't do a whole lot of sponsors on this channel, but this is legitimately something that I use all the time. Big thanks to Artlist for sponsoring this video. We use their site all the time to get stock music, stock footage, sound effects. They have AI voiceover tools that are just insane. And they've been working really hard on their AI image stuff. And so I uploaded this still and told it to add a jib shot. And look at this. Now we have this subtle movement. We even have movement up here in the trees. There's kind of like wind blowing through the trees. And it does a fan freaking tastic job of making this image into a believable video. Way better than I would do. And now this looks like a legitimate video clip that doesn't stand out or look weird. And I don't have to add a bunch of camera shake to or anything like that. It just looks like a real video but it's using that image that I really liked as its starting point. And what's cool is you can actually do your entire workflow here for this shot. You could start with text to image and I could say uh, a house in the suburbs. Let's just go ahead and do that. And then it'll make this beautiful house for you. Then you can click this transform image here. And let's say I want this at night. Make this a night shot. I don't know anything about AI prompts and making those amazing and everything. I just, I just do my best. And now boom, we have this nighttime shot. I can upscale this. And here we have this upscaled looking a lot better. And so we can generate our image from nothing right here on Artlist, or we can just upload any image that we have. So if you go and take a picture of something, you can just upload this and use their image to video. Or if you already have an image that you've generated, you can just click animate. That will load it up here in our image to video section here. And we can just say, add a slight camera movement to give this scene some depth. We'll do it over five seconds at 1080p, animate. And so that's what I did with this image. And now we have this awesome jib shot that looks super good. I've tried this kind of thing with a few other shots. Here's another kind of subtle movement on this house. Oh, doesn't that look great? 
just the perspective shift and all of that stuff, man, you just could not do that with VFX without spending so much time on it. Okay, so our new shot is done. We have this subtle movement that just looks so good. Dang it. This can just rescue your establisher shots and can really help put your video in context. This is just one of the features that we use here at the studio all the time from Artlist. And you can get a smoking deal on an Artlist subscription. There's a link down below. You can also click right there and you do all kinds of image editing magic here. And again, this is the best place to find stock music. That's where we get all of our music. It's the best place to get stock footage. A lot of the time you can download this in log, which is great for color grading. They have sound effects. They have AI voiceover that sounds natural and amazing. They're just the best, man. Like I said, this is why we work with them as a sponsor because we use them anyway. Another cool thing Artlist is doing right now is that they have a 100K fund and you can share your idea with them for the chance to win $100,000. And I'll throw a link so you can learn more down in the description. But I wanna show you one more cool thing here. So we have this house jib, but it's not quite exactly what I want because in this next clip in our movie, we have a room that has this window right here that has these two curtains and these blinds. And that's a really kind of specific looking window. And if we look here at this house, the windows don't really match. We might be able to change this with AI, but it's gonna be really hard to actually get the exact window that we're looking for. And so that's where we can use our VFX skills. So what I did on this establishing shot was I went over here to this shot and I took a still. Here's the still right here. This is just a still image of the ungraded shot. And then I brought this jib shot into Fusion. We can go up to the media pool, grab this window.exr, this still image, and we can merge this over our original footage. And we'll just look at this media out. I'll take this merge and turn the blend part of the way down so we can see both of these. And let's take a transform node and we can put a transform node in between this media in, which is our window still. And then this one is our original footage. We can take this transform and scale this down. And what I wanna do is put this window over the window in our footage. We'll just scale this down a little bit. And what we're gonna do is kind of replace this window with visual effects. There we go, something like that. And let's mask this. I'll just grab a polygon mask and attach it to our window still. And then I'll just make a little mask around our window like this. Boop. That's gonna cut that out perfectly. Let's take this merge and take this blend all the way back up. Great. We can do a little bit of color correction on this. And so after this window still, we'll do a little color correction. I'll just add a color corrector here. Make sure we go to options, pre-divide, post, multiply. Take this and maybe we'll take the gamma down. Maybe we'll tint this a little bit kind of orange or purple, something like that. Maybe a little bit more blue, somewhere in there to kind of match how that other shot looks. The gain down a touch. Get this to where it sort of matches. There we go, there's our window. And what we can do is take this original footage. I'll just drag this here and we can take a planar tracker. Shift space bar planar tracker like this. And I'll just select this window like this. I'm remembering we're gonna start at frame 19. Go to reference time, hit set, and track this forward. Go, track it backward, create planar transform. And here at frame 19, we're going to apply this planar transform just like that. I'm holding shift to drag this in there. And let's look at our media out. There we go, that puts our window in, and look at this, it tracks perfectly to that window. So now we have a mixture of this AI to actually create this shot and some visual effects to help it kind of fit into the context of our movie. And now over here, we have our window match moved to our house. And so this works with our movie. That's what's so exciting is AI can't fix everything in the world. It's probably never going to replace all visual effects, but it's a tool and we can work with it to fix certain parts of our image and then use more traditional VFX kind of things to do some specific stuff. And so yeah, day to night conversions, that works pretty great with AI these days. And creating a video from a still works pretty great. But to add these little specific things, we can use the power of the Fusion page inside of Resolve. So I hope this is helpful and inspiring to you. If you want to check out Artlist and get all kinds of great tools for your videos, there's the link to do so. This is so much fun. We live in such a creative moment in history where we have all these tools available to us and it's just up to you to figure out what you're gonna do with them. I hope you enjoyed this because I enjoyed doing it too. <laughs>